I'm about to start my downsized, pared down Christmas with what decorations I have, with my little four foot tree that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. So we'll see how this works. I also have some um, dishes and things that are Christmas related that are in boxes because I have nowhere to put them. And I also have to get my other Christmas decorations out. So we'll see what we come up with on my downsize. I thought I downsized. I still have a couple more boxes in the garage. So you can see how tall this is. I'm 5'3", so it's four foot tree. I put it on, I had two um, old timey suitcases and in an earlier clip you could see the base was bigger than the suitcases. So instead I used one of my tubs that's for storage and I took out what I wanted and closed it and covered it with, I just use fabric as a tree skirt. My mom taught me that years ago, just buy a fabric you like, twirl it around the base of the tree, and then tuck under the salvages. I clipped it with a binder clip, and then I, I have some tinsel, but it's really messy and hard to clean up. It's more of a modern tinsel. I like the old-fashioned tinsel. We called it icicles. Anyway, I might just stick with this. Yeah, so I only used about one third of my ornaments, which is fine. And I could see in this tree was made, some of the lights didn't fill in all the sections, but that's fine. So I put it on a timer. That was a little struggle because it's behind something and in something. And so I'll have a lot of things running on timers. And then I'll show you a couple other things I pulled out as well. Some of the music I like to play at the holiday season, I can't play on videos because on videos I'm doing copyright free. But one of my favorite things is traditional Christmas music. I mean, going back to the 40s, 50s, and 60s, a place where I found it is on Pandora. And I just have a free account with Pandora. I don't pay them, uh, but I there's so many Christmas stations and collections of Christmas music. So I want to show you which station I found. Now, I have found, for me, it was easier to create a Pandora account on the computer, not on the phone. And it's also easier for me to find new stations that I like, stations, I put it in double quotes, or artists that I like, on Pandora, on the computer, instead of the phone, instead of mobile, on a computer and set it up so that when I 
open Pandora on my phone or even open my Pandora on my television on Roku, my Pandora account is there, I sign in, and then all my stations are there. So I can also play my traditional Christmas music station from there. But in the next clip, I'm going to show you on a computer which station it is and how to find it on your free Pandora account. So on Pandora, when you first come in on a computer, it defaults at the Now Playing tab. And what you want to click is My Collection. It's this one on the right called Christmas Traditional Radio. Let me click on it. I'm not going to play the music. I'll have to um, quiet that out. Okay, so yeah, Andy Williams. See, it is traditional. So this name here, Christmas Traditional Radio, that's what you want to click in the search bar. So click in the search bar and type Christmas Traditional Radio. Okay, so there it is. Oops, thinking about it again. Okay, it looks like this right now. Sometimes they change out the icon. And then below it, here's another one. Traditional Christmas playlist has um, 80 songs on it. So I think this has gotten more popular since I added it. In fact, I think I'm going to add this one. Just because I think I see Bing Crosby. And I will, oh, I guess I see a bunch of people. Burl Ives, that's who I see. And then I'll add it to my collection of stations. I really miss having a fireplace and a mantle. This is the first home I haven't. So I just pulled out two stockings and I have them on these heavy stocking holders that usually go on a mantle. And um, I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you a couple close-ups if the dog stops barking. Alrighty, I'm just gonna hold my camera up really high so this is one of them it's how big that one is i also have four that look like big reindeer but they're heavier and bigger and for this this is all i need so that's santa on a sleigh and then over here this one's a tree i want to say i might have gotten these at cost plus world market years ago but yeah they're awesome for holding you you can put gifts inside these stockings and they'll hold up fine so it doesn't have to be in a mantle it can just be in a bookshelf i have this really cute metal tree it's only this big and it has a little votive candle on the back it's so adorable and the light comes through i'm going to bring down the brightness since it's daytime so you can see it a little better so here's the fake nighttime version so you can see how cute that is so I pulled this out, I store this with my ornaments, and it's just adorable. Oh, this is so much better in daylight. So, <laughs> in this table that I have over here, where I'm still kind of putting some things together, we have the tray and this urn on a cake plate. So I brought out this little gingerbread house, we lift it up and put in a tea light, and then I have this roped beaded rope where I must have gotten that at a craft store years ago and it has these tassels I have one tassel that I need to trim and yeah they just hang down and it's just a cute little display since the kitchen cabinets have above them a really high ceiling I put this um, everybody in the family has one of these my sister-in-law gave all of us one of these years ago you can see well maybe some of the lights are out but it's a red berry tree and uh, the cord's long enough to reach down and plug into a plug I'm going to secure that a little bit and I'm not going to put it on a timer because it's easy to access and turn it to plug it on and off plug it in and out that's what I mean Since decorating for Christmas reminds me of winter-like activities, I'm making a double batch of my vegetarian chili in my crock pot on low. Just got this together. I didn't know if a double batch would be too much for this, but it fits perfectly. And I'm also going to make some marinara sauce. I have this Christmas card holder. It says Yule Post on it. My aunt cross-stitched it years ago for me. It's got a little pocket in it to put Christmas cards. I think she even 
Yep. Signed it on the back. She made this for me in 1979. JH. Those were her initials. And it just hangs on a doorknob like that. And I pulled out, I don't know who gave me this, this Santa. It's not really my style, but it's kind of cute. And since I have a doorknob to put it on, it just goes on like that. Um, probably came from a craft fairs or something. This is kind of hard to show with one-handed camera. But I have a wreath that I keep on the door all year, but I'm going to bring it inside. And the outside, we're going to hang these skates, which can, can hang all winter, really, because they're just winter um, seam. But then, I don't know if you can see this, but in my hand, I have a fishing, two thicknesses of fishing line. So that's how I'm going to hang it from a thumbtack at the top of the door. So I'll show you. So using my big camera, <laughs> this is the wreath that I keep all year. And yeah, it is kind of Christmas colors, but with a storm door, a lot of times what will happen is the storm door will get condensation, then it'll freeze, and then it will stick to the wreath. So this is on one of these wreath thingies. I'm going to take it off and bring it to the inside where it's not as bright. Now the dog is standing where she doesn't walk. And put it up here. Let's see. I'm going to brighten this. So now that's hung on the inside, so now I'm ready to hang the ice skates. So I'm on top of the door, and the thumbtack, I pushed it in, then I used a light touch with a hammer. So it's not, it's not pounded all the way in. It's, okay, it's not pounded all the way in. And I'm trying to do this one-handed to hang. Uh, oops, the fishing wire. I've done this for years in my old house. So what I realized was in my old house, the skates face the other direction. So they can go either direction with the short chain one in the front. But these were a little beat up because <laughs> they used to face the other way. Um, let's see if I can pull away my step ladder. Top and they come down here. Now they completely cover the people. <laughs> they completely cover the people. So in my last house, there was a, like a stained glass window that they hung on, and so I didn't need the people. But anyway, that's a way to keep a wintry look on my door, on my front door. It needs to be cleaned apparently, without the sticking to a wet or even frozen situation going on with the storm door. And the last clip you saw that I got my poinsettia related Christmas things out of the box. There's a bunch of other things in the box I'm not even gonna take out and that's just fine. I also was hoping in this video that I would have my outdoor planters done with some greens, but the greens around here are so expensive. I'm gonna make a trip this coming week to where I used to live and go to the place that I've gone to for years and hopefully their prices aren't outrageously more than they were last year. And I'll post something about those in another video, but I have a video from the past showing how I put them together and I will link that on the right side of your screen and also in the description box below the video if you want to see how I put together my winter greens. My planters are large but they're those lightweight planters where I need to weigh them down with bricks to make sure they don't blow away and then the greens go in there so I hope you enjoyed this vlog of my downsized Christmas. Thank you for joining me. And you know, if you've downsized your Christmas a little bit, let me know in the comments below what you've done in order to downsize. Maybe you've given things away. Maybe you've um, actually gotten rid of old stuff. Or maybe some of your things are still in boxes and you're just putting less out this year. 